YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage back on Total War Attila. And uh, back here, my Persian scouts can actually deploy anywhere, which is pretty cool. They won't be hidden, though, I'm sure. Well, there's a lot of fog. Ah, there's a small potential I could hide them here. One of them is hidden. Which one is it? That one? Let's see if we can hide the other one right on top of it. There might be enemy troops that come reinforcing there, but I'll keep my Persian scouts hidden back there. That's pretty cool. They have that ability. Got a lot of Armenian spears. I'm going to spread wide to make it hard for the computer to outflank me. Um, so let's get my guys set. I got some Persian bowmen. We'll s spread them out here in front as well. Let's keep our mounted warriors and our general over here on the flanks. We will want to be careful with the general. But uh, he is a melee cab and I'm going to need his services here. And then this Svarin Cataphract, I'll keep it um, somewhere in the center here. So let's take these troops, start the battle. I'm going to do the alt click drag thing here. And just tell them not to run. Oh, I forgot I had a hurler unit here. That's good. Give me a little extra firepower to use. My guys are still hidden here. And basically, I'll bring my Persian scouts back in behind enemy skirmishers and destroy them. Uh, sorry about the fog. The AI chose that. It's obviously worse when you're zoomed out. I love these Persian bows. Such cool units. All of them. Uh, the, the cheap ones all the way up. Really pretty neat. Some Persian nobles, Armenian spears, Persian hurlers, Persian bowmen. They have a pretty similar army composition. There's really no great place for me to fight this from a terrain standpoint so I'll just stand my ground where I'm at and make sure to get um, rear charges in I'll start pulling my Persian scouts up to do some scouting see if we can spot where any more reinforcing troops are coming from get behind the enemy forces there should be some reinforcing troops there they are So this is where the Persian scouts are going to be handy. They have really good uh, scouting range. And of course they deployed guerrillas so I can get some cavalry behind enemy lines immediately. So I'm just going to try and get the enemy skirmishers in my range. I'm already firing on the enemy troops. Okay, let's keep an eye on things. So there's step lancers out here. Enemy horse archers coming in. That's no concern as long as they don't shoot my general. So I'm just going to pull back a little. Alright, I can now push my spears forward a little, protect my archers. Let's go ahead and bring my Persian scouts down. Okay, this is what I want. AI is going to get hasty with its troops here. Oof, there's a lot of... A lot of enemy cab in the area, though. I just got to be careful. Those step lancers are going to win the charge versus my mercenary pounded, uh, mounted warriors. There we go. We're going to get the charge here. And we got some cavalry harassing us over here. Crap. Got myself charged. Yeah, I get it. Okay. So let's get my cataphracts over to a flank. Finish off these steps. Good. And my scouts now are going to show their value by trapping these skirmishers. Let's keep my own skirmishers safe for now. And let's get into this fight. So yeah, my scout's already catching the enemy skirmishers. Uh, I need to get my Onager to quit firing. Bring my general and these other units into the back of these spearmen. So this battle already turning out a little better for me than previous fights. I don't want to fire at will because I might hit some of my own guys. I can use my Cataphracts to countercharge these step lancers, and I think my Svarin Cataphracts will do better here. 
we'll see. It looks like they did. My general's taking some fire from these horse archers. It's not good. Let's get him out of that. Keep him alive. Keep running rear charges. My infantry in the center is starting to falter some. And this enemy cav keeps disengaging and pulling away from me. Which is getting pretty annoying. That it's not getting destroyed while disengaging, but it isn't. I'm going to pull some of these spearmen back here to help protect where I'm getting broken in the center. Okay, getting some nice rear charges. Enemy units are not doing well, and my bows are still on fire at will. They're going to kill my own general if I'm not careful. Let's charge some more of these Armenian spears. Yeah, we're getting... We're definitely getting broken in the center, but if we start countercharging everywhere, we should be safe. I charged into the back of these Armenian spears that are chasing my general. My general is still taking some fire from uh, horse archers. I have to get away from their spearmen over here. Cab. Let's pull him back this way, intercept the spearmen with my own general out of the spear fight, out of the spear fight. Let's just get, get my general back to safety at this point, get out of the spear fight, attack the general. I'm going to keep some cavalry in reserve. This is actually starting to turn to my favor here. I'm just going to get my general well back to safety, try and pull the enemy units in a little more. The enemy general should be dead already, to be honest, they're down to eight Persian nobles, but they're still alive. Let's uh, attack these spearmen here. So, there we go. That's going to make a big difference. Use my hurlers and some other units here. And we can now bring these guys over to the center, where we've won this fight. So now we're going to make it. And just, again, keep my general away from the step-mounted bows. Let's use my hurlers to get into those guys as well. Use my Persian-mounted warriors to knock down these Armenian spears. So, again, just, just keep my general safe from these. Okay. So now the fight's really starting to wrap up for us. We just need to kill the enemy skirmishers, and as soon as I get these bow cab off the field, I feel a little bit safer to do that. I'm going to have to end up going back to replenish this army again. It's like every time I go back and replenish, the enemy's replenished as well. So it ends up preventing me from... I don't know, we might be able to go ahead and occupy their city, though. We'll, we'll take a look. Don't kill our own men, please. I keep taking these guys off fire at will and somehow I keep managing to kill my own men. Alright, so looks like we're going to take another important victory. I know I didn't get you a lot of close-ups, but it is foggy and it's very hard for me to see. Uh, my general is barely alive back here, so let's, let's keep him at a distance from these enemy archers. Because a volley could potentially kill my general here. Okay, all the enemy troops are routing. So we'll go ahead and end the battle. So we've managed to defeat the Africans this time, uh, dealing them 1,700 losses to my 1,100. So their troops had a uh, superior position, which is the only reason they got as many kills as they did. And their uh, horse archers got a lot more kills than I would have thought. They did get to fire the whole battle, though, so it's not completely surprising. Step-mounted bows didn't get anything, really. And the rest of their units, their infantry didn't do particularly well. My bow's got a fair number of kills. My Persian scout's doing a great job of putting down their bowmen. You can see their hurlers and their bowmen uh, all being relatively ineffective. Alright, so uh, let's replenish our ranks here with their men. So that we have a few more men and we can just go ahead and push forward and take the city since we just basically destroyed their garrisons. I... Uh, I'm not sure I want to accept that yet, so let's cancel. There may be a good reason for me to try and arrange a marriage with one of the other candidates to try and pull more people into my family. I don't know. We'll see.
We've got a hostile agent activity. That's up here by the Roman agent. Enemy age, uh, enemy killed in battle. Oh, so that would be the general that we killed here. And then up here. And my Imperium has increased a little. I can have more armies, uh, more champions and spies, all that kind of stuff. More governors as well. Rebellion is imminent in Syria. Desperate measures. So in this case, securing loyalty is proving quite difficult. Unfortunately, and ugly though it is, more drastic measures may be required. <laughs> He'll be no good to anybody, so we can castrate him. <laughs> Which adds loyalty and turns him into a eunuch. <laughs> um, blinding, so we can blind him. But that will give us the trait of blind. Let's see, I don't know what... I wish it showed me what the bonuses awarded from being a eunuch does to him. Events, mission rewards, and faction traits. <laughs> that is interesting. And we could forget it. I don't want to lose more control, so I'm going to castrate him. How about that? So we gain loyalty. And then the other lady succeeded, which I can imagine once that the other guy found out, the one guy got castrated, um, that it probably wasn't much of a decision for him <laughs> to go ahead and just allow his loyalty to be secured. So we've got nice loyalty in all these characters now at the cost of a little influence for them. Uh, what is this guy? Is he a general as well? Master of Infantry, General. Yes, yeah, so he's a general. We need to get him into combat because his uh, influence is quite low. And then same thing with these guys down here. Um, all of them are generals, so we just we need to get their influence built up. But yeah, when you look, uh, these guys have a ton of influence over here. But all of them are relatively loyal now as well. Oh, you know what? I may have castrated one of the guys in my own... I thought it was this guy was the one we castrated. I hope so, because I hope I didn't castrate someone in my own family. So that's a great way to end your family tree, by the way, here. And I'm pretty sure that we did... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we did. Or no, maybe it was the other guy down there. Let's look. Maybe it was this one. Oh, please say that we did it to him. Yeah, cannot have children. <laughs> Whoops. Well, at least it wasn't my own guy over here. So, well, I guess that's one way to do it. Wow. I guess those women decide to get loyalty one way or the other. And uh, the other may not be the way that you want it to happen. Interesting. Uh, so I guess we could try some gather support with this lady since we need to use up her influence before she dies anyway. And then uh, maybe we'll do the same thing here. Uh, use the rest of these women to gather up some support. I'll just do a couple to start off with and we'll see how it goes. Bahram is gaining some influence now which is great. Um, all these winning battles and stuff is definitely going to help him. And the Gassanids ought to be in a pretty destroyed situation here. They are. So I'm going to auto-resolve this. Um, take a balanced stance. Bahram gave that guy a mace smashing and a nut kicking. I like it. And so the Gassanids are dead. And I am going to raise their settlement to the ground. I could subjugate them, actually, but I don't want to do that because they'll probably backstab me like it always seems like it happens. So we're going to thermonuke um, the Gassanids. They do have this small army here. I could care less. They can go off and do whatever they want. They're no longer a threat to me, and their guys won't be retraining, and they shouldn't have enough money to resettle. So you can see there what uh, what Baram does to his enemies. He, he was most displeased. <laughs> So I'll be moving on back to my settlement, uh, and now we've desolated that area. And a lot of settlements can end up getting desolated, and then sometimes the AI overuses that ability a lot, and it can be pretty annoying. Now, which province did it say there was rebellion in? Let's track that down uh, real quick. What do we, we have? Some event message here that. Is there something I need to get an agent discovered, unseasonal conditions, trait gained, eunuch, province secured, imperium. Well, I don't I don't know what the uh, Okay. 
I guess it's those things that it was trying to show me. Uh, where was the... Let's see. Rent gain, traits gain, buildings constructed, rebellion imminent in Syria. So rebellion's imminent here. Okay, so I have Tyrus captured. So um, because of the sieges and stuff that's going on, there's going to be an imminent rebellion here. That's not a huge concern for me. Antioch probably still hold out for a very long time. Pintarchy, see. Cool. Um, yeah, so Baram's army can come back and help with any rebellion, but let's... Let's temporarily get these guys over here as well. I, where can I train better infantry, by the way? I know I can't do it here, but uh, if these guys are in no stance, what, 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 let me see what buildings I have here. Uh, probably nothing for training infantry. Yeah, I don't. I need to uh, get some better infantry. I'm about to finish some more research here, which will unlock some more buildings for me, which is great. Uh, I think I wanted to do this one, which gives me the wheat currents, but I want to get some infantry and cavalry upgrades. So uh, if I go ahead and do some research up here, I can get better cataphracts, and I can even get the Griff Panvar cataphracts as well. And then I think this is the elite Dalamite infantry, so it's a handy one to have, because that's the only decent infantry that I'm going to be able to get a hold of. And then Lachmid scouts replace Persian scouts, so... Um, we'll let it finish the, those two turns worth of research. Uh, let's check all my buildings again because I didn't end up spending all the time that I needed there to last time. My food has dropped quite a bit because all the upgrades were running. I'm going to just kind of wait until some more are done. Uh, obviously if I can increase my... Uh, we got public order penalties here, but that's okay. We'll move this army over and help stabilize this. Uh, once we finish these structures we should be good. We're getting a very nice public order boost here at the cost of a little food but again I don't want to run any more of the food related stuff just yet until I make sure that I haven't overused anything so actually there's really not any buildings that I just have a ridiculous amount of wealth and not a whole lot to spend it on at this exact moment I can't really upgrade my units a whole lot more either so honestly not a whole bunch to do there let's see how many guys? I probably need at least a couple more infantry here. Are you ready to serve? I can't recruit any cavalry here, but I mean, if there's any good mercenaries, I could probably take them on. Yeah, always got access to these Persian guys. Oh, look, mercenary Svar and Cav. Ooh, I'm gonna get rid of these Bow Cav actually. Uh, they're upgraded, which is nice, but I want these Svar and Cav instead. Ha <laughs> ha that's gonna be cool. Um. And then we need to try and get this barn cap upgraded as well. Now there are a bunch of mercenary Persian scout or one mercenary Persian scout. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them in. So we're up to 18 out of 20. At your command. So yeah, not a whole lot of melee cab in this army, unfortunately. Let's just go ahead and tank up a couple more spears. Just get that army all tanked out. We're gonna need it. Okay, let's, uh, we have a bunch of skills, so Baram has gained some skills, which is great. Let's see. Insufficient administrator out of favor. Torturer. <laughs> Plus two integrity for being a torturer, it just takes down public order, that's hilarious. Smooth talker, unjust, so that's where he's getting a lot of integrity penalties. This gives this guy's armor, all the other stuff, got his wife here, so I don't see anything in household that's helping with integrity at the moment, so that's why I'm kind of just leaving stuff here. I might uh, do these beaded trousers. Plus 10 growth is pretty cool. Eh, not interested in that. Enslaved debtor, plus 10 immigration. I don't really know how that's doing me a lot of good. Eastern turncoat, plus 15 versus Eastern empires, that's pretty cool. Plus, ooh, plus two authority for the heroic German warrior. Let's do that. All right, now he's got two upgrade points. This one gives increased morale. This is where you can get integrity boost down here. 
It's going to require me though to drop one upgrade here and another here, and then with his next we can boost up his integrity quite a bit. So that'll that'll make his armies uh, very good uh, for campaigning. So that'll be quite fun. So we're taking care of Baram, the other Baram, which is another family member. We can add household stuff for him here. So I'll give him movement speed for infantry. That's the only one we can use. And then I guess the enslaved debtor, because apparently there's a lot of enslaved debtors. And let's see, let's also try and get down to the integrity tree for these guys, which is going to take a while, but we'll try and get them there. All right, and then we can put skills and actually throw in uh, Eastern Turncoat here. Oh, actually, that's the governor, so I don't need that. Let's do that. And as far as the governor goes, it doesn't really matter, honestly, a whole lot of what I do here. There we go. Um, and I can assign another provincial governor, which, let's see, we got Sobathynia. Can I... Can this guy be a governor? I don't think so, because he's in another faction. That would be kind of cool if you could actually pull in people from other factions. So none of these folks can be the governor. We'd have to pull in another candidate. Let's see if any of these guys are relentless attacker, administrator. So this guy would probably make a better governor. So we'll put him in and, and let him start gaining some experience. And that should be good. Now we can issue an edict here as well. And we probably want to issue an edict here that's going to spread Zoroastrianism because this area is probably very Christian at the moment. Yes. The Greek Christian is dropping, but there's no gain in Zoroastrian. Um, so let's see what we can do here. There we go, plus four. And the reason why I haven't done a lot of that back here is because a lot of these provinces uh, are already majority Zoroastrian. So that's why some of you ask why I haven't been building those buildings back here. I just don't really feel like I need to. Um, and you can use your priest to influence this uh, a lot as well. I thought I had a priest out. No, I don't have any priest out at the moment. Um, but yeah, I could recruit priest if I get the right buildings uh, and, and do so. Uh, speaking of, on the next turn, I need to remember to look and see where we can recruit veterans from. Because I need to get those guys out to some of my armies and start getting some experience. And I want to get a hold of iron so I can build some improved like workshops, armories, that kind of stuff. Plus I'm going to need iron if I ever want to build like a royal barracks or something like that. And I'd like to get access to Sogdian warriors, which I think I already have access in the elite Dalamites so that I can kind of compose my infantry corps better. There's not really a whole lot better cavalry that the uh, melee cab at least, that the Sassanids have access to melee cabs, not a strength on their roster, but by trying to get Grip Panvar, that gives us a pretty nice cataphract unit. Your next oh, I meant to look and see if we want to marry her off to one of the other candidates. So I'm going to cancel that and we'll see. Alright. Eastern Separatist? What the... Oh, I, I guess it's just the end of the turn. Africans are going to attack me. Uh, I'm going to auto-resolve this and just use a balanced stance. We ought to win it. If I lose a few units, it's not a big deal. We can get them back. I just want to get rid of the Africans here. So I'm going to take on their warriors. Rebellion in Syria, hostile agent activity, political support. Bloody revenge. Did my character just get killed? For their part in the maiming plot, your assassin was found bludgeoned to death. What? I told her to gain some influence. I didn't tell her to assassinate anybody. Foreseen complicated political persuasion is a precise argument. Oh, so I managed to lose control out of the whole thing, so great. So I try and gain control, and I end up losing it. And not only that, uh, this lady gets killed by an assassin or something? What a stinking ripoff. 
So all of my attempts to gain control, uh, apparently one of them succeeded and the others failed. It's like my dominion went down when I tried to do that as well. So this is where we're at here, pop quarter plus one loyalty. So that's frustrating that she gets killed in the process. That's actually really frustrating. Well, she was pretty old anyway, so I guess any assassination. They've got this son here who's one year old. Sucks for him. In fact, how did a 72-year-old... Or no, she was actually pretty young. Piece of crap! That's angering. That's really angering. If I find out which of these jerks pulled off that assassination, oh my gosh, they are dead beyond belief. Irritating. All right, my king is gaining influence, which is nice. Wow, that's just straight up irritating. I don't know exactly what happened there. It's kind of confusing and, like I said, irritating all at the same time. Let's see how bad the rebellion is in Syria. Uh, it's going to be these guys here, rebel army. They've got a couple of equites promoti, which are actually pretty decent units. At least Yokimita Tenseis. Not a great unit. So, the Gassanids have run off from their decimated province and are going to go try and cause trouble elsewhere. Get my general back over here. Do some retraining and keep the Gassanids from accomplishing. Actually, we can just crush the Gassanids here. Which is what we're going to do. They've hired up mercenaries with what money they have left. We'll just take a balanced stance. Give these guys a crushing. And I'll take on their warriors here as well, so that my general gets a little bit of retraining done. The Gassanids are now dead, and we can just force march our way back into the city, and it'll help stabilize this area as well. And we can deal with the uh, rebel scum soon enough. So I'm losing integrity here, so it'd be good if we win a battle fairly quick with these guys. So. Let's come attack these uh, Judean rebels. Okay, so we've pushed the Judean rebels down a little bit. That'll be good for the moment. And let's see, these guys we're not losing any integrity on actually at the moment. And we're going to finish training some more Armenian spears and then I'd like to go ahead and uh, we've stabilized it looks like public order here at the cost of a lot of food. And we still got more food use that's going to be coming out. That's why I was doing the research I was, because I need to get to the uh, the better wheat fields. I need to build up a little more uh, food supply in general. Okay. So yeah, that, that's why I'm trying to do the research the way I am. It's 13 turns off still, but it's a necessary research, so I'm going to have to leave that going and we'll, we'll do the military later. Because some of you want me to get elite cataphracts and stuff. But I definitely want to, I don't know if I, you know, I could leave the wheat fields the way they are and just see if I can build a bunch of other stuff. Good men we'll see. Died. If I can get enough food stability so that I can keep upgrading all my provinces, I might go ahead and try and switch over and get some more elite military units. But obviously from an economic standpoint, we're absolutely crushing our enemies at the moment economically speaking. Oh, I didn't check my building browser. Not all of it, at least. So Tarsus is now under siege, too. That this offer of coins will be taken in the right spirit of comradeship and respect. Okay, so the Afrigids won a peace treaty. I don't know how these guys are still alive, because I just beat them again. It's honestly a little bit surprising to me. Let's... They're, they want a peace treaty. I, I'm not okay with that. Um, if they want a peace treaty, they're going to have to become my puppet state. Okay, well then forget it. Alright, so the Afrigids are going to attack me again. And I have allied forces, or I have allied forces in the area. So uh, I'll auto resolve and just take a balanced stance. 
Oh, I see. The Allied forces moved in and attacked the Africans. So that's why they were asking for a peace treaty, because they knew they were about to get a beat down from uh, the Separatist here. So I'm just going to take on a few more warriors again. And it looks like Separatists have taken control of... Or no, they raised, raised the town. So my Master of Infantry has completed his term in office. That's good. These guys need to gain some integrity, so I'm going to have them win a battle here versus the Eastern Separatists who have some Contari, Cataphractari, a Scorpion, and some Equites Dalmat, or Equites Promoti. And uh, it looks like these are Roman rebels, so let's go ahead and fight this, this will be fun. Scorpions are actually not bad units. They're just kind of expensive and multiplayer, but they, they aren't bad. If you dry, oh, it's a river crossing battle. Well, if I know my AI, they're not going to protect stuff real great. I got three uh, Savarin Cav here. I'm going to wait so I can use Flaming Shot with my Savarin Cavalry. And let's see where our crossing points are at. We've got... Is that a, oh no, it's a white line. I thought it was a graphics glitch. Um, so we've got a couple of crossing points. Let's see... I want my general to remain well away from that artillery. I will keep some infantry here for the artillery to fire at, but cavalry-wise, I'll just leave the scout unit here. Um, all the rest of my cav can come down here as far as I'm concerned. I got this mercenary Persian brigade. Switch over to flaming shot here as well. So I'm attacking the Romans. So I'm going to actually try and move across and secure the uh, the river crossing. It's not going to be super easy to pull off. But down here we'll be fine. Let's get all these guys across. Didn't know that I needed additional forces, but they're free to come. The enemy has been spotted. I don't want to run them because then they'll just be worthless anyway. I'll let them walk up. So yeah, we're, we're starting to take the river crossing. This Legio Kamita Tenseis would be... Pretty tough not to crack for my Armenian Spears. The enemy are losing ground. But they're going to charge my Armenian Spears. I'm going to halt all my Armenian Spears because it'll allow my men to brace and their cavalry will do quite poorly being slowed down by the water already. And my Svarn cavalry. And my general. Okay. Let's switch these guys, oh, not heavy flaming. They have barrage also. There we go. So enemy cavalry is not going to do well. Legio Committee Tenseis won't do particularly well there either. My Svarin Cav is a little bit winded. Let's go ahead and bring them up. Yeah, the enemy... Infantry and horses are going to do terribly here. Their artillery will get a few kills, but not really. I mean, you can see that the, the Cairo Ballista is much better, which is what I call the Scorpion. See these uh, Contari, or actually these Cataphractari. Let's hit them with the flaming, flaming round of crossbow bolts, and it probably will destroy them. It hurt them pretty bad. And I can just skirmish back here. Yeah, the the rebel forces are not liking this fight. I did uh, have one spearman route to the, the Kamita Tenseis, but uh, it's, again, not going to be a huge deal. I'm kind of firing into the back of my own men, just trying to kill their cab. I can probably go ahead and halt the uh, missile fire at this point. We're going to counter charge these Cataphractari. They're already damaged pretty badly and shouldn't do very well all ganged up on like that. I'll go ahead and put my general into the... Now 
I teamed up on like this, my shock cavalry, they, and the, the Equites Promoti went into Wedge, which normally the computer does and it's not going to help, it actually will help them a little in this case. And they're going to get their Equites Promoti into me over here as well, and I really don't want that. But with the ability to rear charge the crud out of these Equites Promoti, we should crush them. I'm gonna, they're going to get massively ganged up on here. Otherwise, those Equites Promoti would be a pretty tough target for me. But getting rear charged by four Cataphract units is going to inflict some pretty substantial damage on them. And then by the numbers, they're going to start getting torn up pretty bad. These uh, Legio units have done pretty well over here versus my Armenian Spears. I don't expect my Armenian Spears to really get any kills per se. The men are broken and I'm fleeing. I'm going to give them something to think about, though. I'm going to put a lot of crossbow bolts uh, point blank into the back of the enemy here. And I, Armenian spears are easily to re uh, easy to replace. I'm going to put barrage on here against the uh, enemy Palatina guards. Point blank. Ooh. Palatina guard that. I'm going to retreat back and do one more. My guys are going to get tired from using that. The Equites Promoti are dead. The enemy Palatina Guard just gets wrecked <laughs> by the Crossbow Cav. So this is why the Savarin Cav is quite fun. Hey, 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 Not fire at will. Don't want you firing at my own men. So there we go. We've killed the, uh, killed the Eastern Rebels. You can see how quickly these... Uh, I didn't even use these Crossbow Cav much and just how quickly they can rack up kills. It does not take much. That'll help give a little bit of needed integrity to the forces in this army. Um, so that that's definitely good. I don't need to take on. I'm going to kill the captives. So my guy's going to give them a macing. Which was kind of a slashing, but I can see that they tried to use the right type of sword animations to try and make it look like mace animations, which I guess is appreciated, but I'm still not sure why we didn't just make some dedicated mace animations. Um, not a huge deal, and so some of you are like, geez, Harry, you really care about those mace animations? No, I mean, it's not game-breaking for me. Obviously, I'm still enjoying the game. Just saying, it's it's an easy fix that probably should have been looked at. Um, oh, my food jumped back up, so we must have had some more buildings come into play, so we're actually quite fine. From, and we've managed to stabilize uh, Bithynia. Bithynia. So it seems like some of you always disagree with how I say it, which is fine. Uh, Nyko, Media... Looks like it's been sacked recently by one of my puppet states. I don't dare leave this province yet because I'm just going to cause a rebellion, so I'll wait until I can get reinforcements there. These guys will take on some uh, integrity here, but it's going to turn around pretty quick. And let's see. Characters minus two, so... Yeah, it's mainly a, a character thing, it seems like. And the real question is, do I dare and try and gain support for my my faction again? Let's try something else this time. So We could try and diminish the popularity of someone else. We've already done secure loyalty. Let's try one more time to see if we can um, gain some influence here. I don't know if I dare try it with her because she's still young enough to have kids. All right. I think that's all I'm going to do for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.